Did I just hear Buala Dane saying Tinubu bought his election? Uh, President mm. Buala Tinubu has that opportunity. Some of us from the other party believe the reason he could do that is because he bought his election. <laughs> do you understand? He bought his election. <laughs> do you understand? Also, many African countries are now saying that Tinubu's government is not legitimate. It's quite unstable right now. And unfortunately, you have uh, the chair currently, it's Nigeria, and the president of Nigeria, you know he's also facing a lot of pressure in his country in terms of how the election uh, panned out in terms of the results. Some questioning the credibility of the elections. He issued a strong statement yesterday, but already when you read the reaction to that statement, people were already saying, you yourself, you are not legitimate. And therefore, this time around, ECOWAS is not as strong as the ECOWAS that we are used to. You'd recall when there were challenges in the region previously, they were quick to react and to respond. And there was that credibility because uh, uh, those who were speaking at that time who were leading the regional body had credibility. But right now, it's on a very shaky ground. So guys, no matter how the opposition tries to pretend, the European Union report is really biting hard on them. This is one of the reasons why Festus Kayamo and Fanny Kayode were dumped, you know, because the European Union report said they are merchants of fake news. Let me allow you to listen to what Buala Dane said about this. You remember when European Union said this election was rigged? They said it was mad with bad. It's only 31% of the result in IREF was mathematically correct. And they, they dish out a lot of things of their findings. You remember some people came out from the governing party and criticized them. The reason they did is because in the report of European Union, there were two people that European Union classified as merchants of fake news. Now, some people thought Tinibu is not smart. They thought Tinibu also is saying bullshit with the European Union. No, no, we, we don't use the BS. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yes, I agree. We, we, we'll take that I, back. I will draw that. So, but do you know what Tinibu did? He did not appoint these individuals whose name featured in the report as merchant of fake news. So the European report said only 31% of the election results are mathematically correct, meaning that this government is building on a wrong foundation. I mean, on a false foundation. The judiciary must rescue our country. They must rescue our democracy. So guys, let me allow you to listen to other things that Dan Ebola said about this administration as regards to the ministerial nominee list that was just released. Just take a look at this video. Uh, you see, he's not a member of our party. Let me explain. Either he is doing his youth <coughs> service in the villa he is on sabbatical in the villa or that he has decided to be an instrument of the governing party against our party. Because as soon as it was announced, you see the video everywhere in the plan, in your program this morning, it was played where he vowed he will never be in APC because APC is synonymous to cancer. And then on another occasion, he said for the minister, minister will go, I'm not interested. But he's not alone. There was a governor who said he was going to school. He was not going to be a minister. And then he, this morning, interestingly, some of your uncles that were analyzing, they said, anybody who is nominated as a minister must have gone to SSS to defend your CV and answer questions. So that means you were conscious. It's not like your name just popped out who wants to be a millionaire. You walk towards it. You lobby it. To me, that is not... If we can pick states, because I have lived long enough in APC, for seven, eight years, you can pick a state, I will give you an idea of people who should have been ministers. But they are not made. The good part, and I must praise President Tunubu for that, is you remember when European Union said this election was rigged? They said it was mad with bad. It's only 31% of the result in IREF was mathematically correct. And they, they dish out a lot of things of their findings. You remember some people came out from the governing party and criticized them. The reason they did is because in the report of European Union, there were two people that European Union classified as merchants of fake news. Now, some people thought Tinibu is not smart. They thought Tinibu also is saying bullshit with the European Union. No, no, we, we don't use the BS. That's, that's or, what I'm or, saying. Or, yes, or, I agree. We'll, we'll, we'll take that I, back. I will draw that. So, but do you know what Tinibu did? He did not appoint these individuals whose name featured in the report 
as merchant of fake news. That in, is, that in is, other words, I, I don't think that is the In, in other words, the president is listening to some, to, to some extent. In, to be fair to him, yes. since he took office, there are one or two things he has, moved, he has done that suggests he listens. Like, for example, the, the, the ill thought and ill time 8,000 to be given. He saw the outcry of the people he withdraw. But why he wasn't doing that in his time? Because people around him will come and tell you that these are enemies of your government. So quickly, let's wrap up on this on right. the ministerial list. What are those things you would want him to rejig if there are in the, uh, in the list? Uh, I would want the court to declare a rerun because we believe we won the election. And uh, when the court declares a rerun, Atiku Abubakar would definitely emerge as a winner. Then I can come and tell you in detail what Atiku has for Nigeria as a plan. Now, because on all issues that they are implementing, beginning with the private sector led arrangement, even this uh, removal of subsidy, you know, we, we define the things to be put in place and how the subsidy is to be removed in phases. So you think your, your agenda is stolen? No, if they have stolen it, it would have been better now. <laughs> if they have stolen and implemented it, that means there would have been federal government program already reeled out to provide the cushioning effect. So if your choice was to make uh, cars, for example, available to help middle class workers, then those cars would have been in town. If it is to increase the salary, of staff to cover for that transportation or some of the people in government today that we call them or studied that as young people but our psychic has been so destroyed now this is where i will hold president bola metinibu accountable if he does not seize the opportunity like the way god presented the opportunity to buari in the past and he was unable to bring about the changes that nigerians needed now <coughs> you, i'll give you a contra contrast you know example yeah. of to suggest to you that bola metinibu had every privilege and opportunity to force youth or force women if you go to a state like cross river the governor nominated himself but he was not taken and there were two ministers taken from the state which obviously suggests that there may be a minister for that state a minister representing the zone so if, if bola metinibu could do that that means he has the capacity to choose whoever he wants everywhere that he chose to rely on some people that predictably very soon he will regret deciding on them now look at it you were a governor for eight years you were given orders you are not taking orders you had the unlimited resources of the state you had control of the state assembly we all know that state assemblies in nigeria hardly function so in other words you had all the way with that to bring about government change you couldn't do that now you are nominated as a minister who will be in a ministry with limited resources you will have to take order from the king himself. Bola Metinibu. Do you see that somebody who could not perform when he had the opportunity with the resources being able to perform now? This is the reason why we made the case that once somebody served as a governor for two terms, he should not have any basis to come around ministerial nomination. The nation has to make a conscious effort. There was a time in Nigeria you from governorship you don't become president you know Dana Bola, a pdp member you are but uh, i seem to be excited about your objective uh, you know analysis here because you just spoke about rivers i mean cross river state where the former governor also nominated himself mm -hmm. uh, the story again is still the same about uh, the leader uh, of the apc in edo state who also nominated himself but yeah. at the end of the day uh, some others were picked yes so is this indicative of the new nigeria mm -hmm. uh, your 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 you just uh, envisaged uh, mm -hmm. earlier on. It's indicative of the fact that uh, PBAT had now the opportunity to bring about the new Nigeria, right? Uh, most of the young people that you will think or we thought they were going to find their ways in ministerial position have been banished to boards and parastatals oh. as members. When you make somebody a member of a board, it's redundancy. Somebody who has energy, has enthusiasm, crazy ideas. Some of them just came back from study. Some of them have piloted your campaign where you see cutting edge reasoning, whether in media or in anything. Now it is time for them to bring that to fore in national affairs because of what you call the politics of leadership of a state. Now they will name it. And in Nigeria, we know most governors are intimidated by competent people. You rarely find a governor choosing a competent person from his state to represent. Because their own psychic and psychology is that if you give that person the opportunity, he will blow 
what in common parlance among the young people they say he will blow. They prefer yes, sir, and indulge you know, people who apply the literal principle of 48 laws of power where you behave like the king's fool. And so you find them all in government, whether ambassadorial, ministerial, or MDS and parastatus. How can that move? Now, President Bola Metinibu has that opportunity. Some of us from the other party believe the reason he could do that is because he bought his election. <laughs> do you understand? Nobody can say when he went to Rivers. And uh, the, gov the former governor of Rivers was trying to subliminally, you know, put a emotional burden or blackmail. He said, I owe you nothing. He knows how he achieved what he achieved. So he has that opportunity to say, and he has done that now in states where we tell you he picked somebody as against the wish of the government. Now you're talking about uh, River State, uh, and some would say uh, that the governor, okay, the former governor also nominated himself. So I, I, were you surprised uh, seeing his name on that list? Who? Uh, the member of your party, uh, Jason Wiki. You see, he's not a member of our party. Let me. So guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. No doubt we are going to regain our mandates because we know there are so many issues as regards to this election and we cannot go on with this kind of criminality. Nigeria has to change for the better. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.